So I'm here with Sam Waterman. He's a member of the Yakima Valley Yaks baseball team. And, and Sam, you know, you're coming in. The season's just starting. Uh, what things are you working on and really focusing on for this season for yourself? I guess really working on the season is really trying to dial in the swing, just make sure getting consistent contact on the ball, seeing pitch as well, and just trying to provide for the team when I can. And then, you know, for Yakima, it's a pretty storied and prehistoric program, uh, especially here in the Northwest for NWAC. What is it like for you to be a part of this program, and why did you choose Yakima? Honestly, it's a tremendous honor. I, I really chose this program just because of the coaching staff here, and I've heard only great things about the program, and especially the coaches, and I really just want to get the, that next tier coaching to help me step my game up. And then, you know, to make it to the college level, it's not an accident. You know, it takes a lot of work, a lot of time. But it also takes people who kind of push you and help you along the way. Who in your life can you look at and say, you know what, that person's really been that, that motivator for me or been just kind of that person to keep me going? Honestly, it's a couple of people. It's really tied between my dad and my brother. My dad was always the person who would take me to the batting cages every day. We'd go take swings and just make sure my swing was dialed in. And my brother was always that guy who always pushed me to be better, always made me want to be the best baseball player I could possibly be. Awesome. And then also for a lot of players, they'll look at like major league players and kind of see guys who uh, they not only enjoy watching but kind of want to kind of mimic in some ways. Uh, maybe it's the attitude or their style. Is there a player you've looked at and say, no, I kind of want to be like that? Honestly, my favorite player in that regard is Mookie Betts. He really is just a tremendous player on and off the field, has great charisma, great attitude, and just plays the game right. And then, you know, also being out here, you know, you get to the ball field, you always see a lot of kids out running around watching the games. What advice would you have for a young player who wants to make it to this college level? Honestly, just work hard and follow your dreams. And it just really comes down to devoting the time that you can and just making sure that everything you do and every rep you can take is just the best possible one and just stick with it. Sometimes it's tough, sometimes you have good days and you really just need to stay to it, stay to the program, and just keep following your dreams, get to that next level. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Awesome.